Hello and welcome to News in Design, Transportation TV Spotlight on Achievements in Transportation Engineering, Planning, and Design. Same thing, right, Kevin? Just a little more help, just like we've been doing. Transportation planners and engineers know that time is a precious commodity. And today, daily commuters in the Boston region are spending a lot less time stuck in traffic because the Massachusetts Turnpike, or Mass Pike as it's called, has switched to all electronic tolling. Massachusetts Department of Transportation Secretary and Chief Executive Officer Stephanie Pollack says the results mean commuters can spend less time in their cars and more time at home. And our goal is by the end of calendar 2017, if you drive the length of the Mass Pike, you won't even know there were tolls on it for all of those decades. We've also seen incredible travel time improvements already. So from the western suburbs of Boston, we're seeing 12 minute faster ride into the city. That's one way commute. That means we're saving people two hours a week. That's eight hours a month or nearly 100 hours a year. Impressive results that Pollock says did not come without great risk. Doing it the way we normally do it would have been safe in the sense that we kind of know how to manage that set of activities, but would have meant that the user benefit of having free-flowing traffic on the highway would have been delayed for months, if not years. And so we took the risk of deciding that we were going to do 23 simultaneous contracts at 23 work zones that we were going to operate 24-7 for the first period of time with the goal of getting all the toll booths down and free flow traffic within 21 days, a month before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the busiest travel day of the year. The statistics show that every weekday in Massachusetts, nearly two and a half million commuters travel by car. Many of those drivers depend on Mass Pike's 138 miles of toll roads, which link the state's three largest cities. The switchover project cost taxpayers an estimated $133 million, but the benefits go way beyond saving precious time. Tolls are really disruptive to free-flowing traffic, and particularly that process whereby you go from three or four lanes to eight, nine, ten, and then everybody has to collapse back down. If you look at the data, there's more accidents that occur immediately before and after toll booths. They're a constant source of backups. There's a huge safety benefit. The three benefits that we really were looking at were travel time, safety improvements, and actually idling and greenhouse gas reductions. Because again, if you create these multi-mile backups at your toll booths, those cars are burning too much gas and emitting too much air pollution. So we saw all of these as the benefits. Instead of toll booths, overhead gantries like these have been installed equipped with sensors that automatically debit a driver's account through transponders as vehicles pass by at highway speeds. The license tags of vehicles without transponders or easy passes are photographed by cameras on the gantries and invoices are sent by mail. This technology is not brand new, but MassDOT's approach to this massive project was unique to the state, requiring everyone from the top down to be on board. We had the full support of the administration, we had the resources we needed to do the job right, and we had a terrific group of staff and contractors. Um, it was great for MassDOT. It really did go off without a hitch. People were stunned by how well the work went, uh, how visibly and quickly the, the things came down, how many work zones we were able to manage simultaneously, and I think it really enhanced the reputation of MassDOT. So we took a risk, and it paid off because we managed it in a way that minimized the risks and maximized the opportunity. Managing risk to maximize the benefit to the traveling public. Mass Pike switchover to all electronic tolling, making travel safer, greener, and faster. Thanks for watching News in Design, our spotlight on achievements in transportation planning, engineering, and design.